Hello and welcome to this X-Plan Mortgage Top Tips video. My name is Jane Irwin and I'm the Protection Product Manager here at IRIS. In today's video we're going to take a closer look at the Term and Critical Illness Feature Reports with an X-Plan Mortgage. Our feature reports allow you to quickly see what features are supported by each product. Feature reports are available for all Term and Critical Illness products. Features highlighted as available are part of the quote returned. That means they are included within the premium and based on the returned benefits. Collective feature definitions are provided, helping you better understand provider-specific terminology. Non-contractual features are also highlighted. And providers can also include key information about their products, including direct links to their extranets or documents to find out more. There are two types of feature report available. There is the summary report and there is the full report. So let's start with the summary report. So what we're showing here is a summary report for mortgage protection. So this is a personal protection uh, policy. Now, as before, very much like the comparison print, we have the client information, the advisor information and the quote information available. So this report is designed to be very much like a companion to the comparison print. It will even show the providers and their products in exactly the same order as a comparison print, so you can compare them side by side. And you also have the transaction number available to you as well, so you can uh, marry the two reports up. So there are 10 features available for personal protection and you can see them highlighted across the top of the screen here and the features we've selected have been uh, based on feedback we've had from advisors uh, and this is feedback from advisors telling us what they see as being the most important features that they'd like to see highlighted in any reports so for a feature to be highlighted as being available there are two things there are two criteria that it needs to meet the first is that it needs to be part of the premium returned. So that means, for example, if uh, free cover was available, but it actually cost you more and it wasn't included in the premium that's been returned to the portal, then it wouldn't be highlighted as being available. It may be available as an add-on when you get to the uh, provider's extra net, but as part of the quote returned, it's not available. A few of these items are what are known as non-contractual, and these are highlighted here. So these are uh, benefits or features that are usually supplied by a third party or uh, could be withdrawn by the provider. So they're not part of the actual cover, they're value adds that they make available, and we've highlighted those to you. Another criteria for a feature being marked available is down to the benefits being returned. And that's because, obviously, if you think about term and critical illness, there are essentially two benefits. So if you were to select a life-only quote, the provider may not include some of their, ch their critical illness items. So you could find that if you did a life-only quote, you wouldn't get children's critical illness cover included. If you did a life and critical illness quote, the same product might display with both life, with the children's critical illness cover included, because you've got both life and critical illness. The other way that this could work is if you were to do a critical illness only quote. So, for example, you could have the same product, but you could do a critical illness only quote and it would only highlight the, the benefits that would be available on the critical illness portion of that policy. Now, some providers do also include some life insurance as part of the critical illness only a quote. So in that instance, if they're including life, we will display the features applicable to the life element. So for example, you could do a critical illness only quote. Some providers could return a life element. So you would see funeral payment options being shown as a feature that's available to you. So this is a summary report, as I said. So this just shows all the information in a nice grid view in exactly the same order as the comparison print. If we scroll down, it will also show you the unsuccessful quotes. It will show you which quotes were, were not able to respond. And we also have the definitions. So the definitions are standard definitions. They do not relate to any specific provider. And these are definitions, again, that we've worked with both distribution and providers to understand how we would best describe these, these items in a language that's, that's acceptable to everybody. Now, Iris do not undertake any review of, of the features made available. Those features are decided by the provider. So if you have any concerns about any features being marked, then you please contact the, the provider to find out more. So that's the summary report. 
but we also have what we call the full report. So the full report is exactly the same. You have your client information, you have your quote information, and you have your providers being displayed in exactly the same order as they would be on the comparison print. The only difference here is that there is some additional information. Now, this information is, is, is basically information that the provider has decided is important to tell you about their product and the features that they have available. So as you can see here, this provider is talking about their day one cover. The other thing you'll notice within the uh, reports is the blue text. Now, the blue text means that there is a hyperlink. So I'm going to right click and open link in a new tab. So depending on how your reports are opened, you might be able to click the hyperlink directly or you might have to right click and open in a new tab. But what that will do is that will actually take you to the area that the provider wants to direct you to. So the benefit is this, of this is that it's giving you all that really important information about that provider's products in one place. So you're not going to have to look around to find out a bit more about the, the key benefits of the products that they have available to you. So let's take a look at the feature reports for business protection. Again, there are two reports available and we have our summary report and our full reports with links to the provider's uh, website to find out more. As before, for a feature to be highlighted as being available, it must be part of the premium returned and also the benefits returned. And we're also highlighting the non-contractual benefits. So these are the benefits that are supplied by a third party. Now, as you can see along the top here, we do actually have some different features available when it comes to business protection. And this is because of feedback we had from, from advisors. Uh, and the key piece of information that they wanted to know when it came to business protection is what that policy could be used for. So what types of cover would that policy support? One of the biggest questions we get asked from advisors is how they can find relevant life products. So to support that and for people looking at supporting shareholder protection or business loan cover, what we've done is we've included these as actual features within the report. So the, the provider can tell you what types of cover these products could be suitable for. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you found it useful. If you need any further support on the subjects we've covered here or indeed anything else, we're here to help you get the best out of X-Plan Mortgage. We run a number of free monthly webinars and details and dates can be found at iris.com forward slash sourcing hyphen webinars. You can speak to one of our experts by dropping us a line at sourcingadoption at iris.com or giving us a call on 03 450 530 490. And don't forget you can find additional resources, support and assistance on the Iris community. Simply go to community.iris.com or select the Help via Iris Community link from within the XPlan Mortgage dashboard screen. My name is Jane Irwin, and thank you for watching.